Okay, everybody, we're going to get started today by looking at some basic class stuff in Python. So, over the next couple of videos, you are going to build out a whole kind of uh, build your own adventure style um, text adventure type thing. And we're going to go through the basics of that today and how that's actually going to look. So, the first thing we're going to do. Um, just going to quickly import a module that we're going to need. So this random is a module that we're going to use later to allow us to select random numbers. So um, when we're uh, looking at chances of hitting an enemy and things like that, we're going to go back to this one here. We'll talk more about that a little bit later. So we are going to program um, three different um, kind of characters for our user to select from. So in order to do this, I'm going to type the word cl class, then I'm going to type the name of the character, whatever it is, so this one's warrior, and then in uh, brackets like that, just write the word object. Now, once you've done the uh, code on there, and pressed enter, you're going to be indented underneath here. And what we're going to do is we're going to write the attributes for this class. So something that you need to know about this is that this character here is going to have its own health, it's going to have its own strength, it's going to have its own defense, and those things are called attributes. Okay, so we just do that. Very straightforward by writing the name of the attribute, whatever it needs to be and then equals, and then whatever it is. So in this case, health equals 150. I'm going to do strength equals 10, defense equals 10, and magic equals 1. Now, it's key to make sure all the attributes for all of your characters are exactly the same. So if you've got health, strength, defense, and magic, you need to make sure that they all have exactly the same. These numbers next to the attributes can be different. They just need to make sure that each one has a health or it has a strength. doesn't matter what the strength is, they all need to have it though. So let's look at another um, di uh, another class then. So class, and then let's look for um, like a wizard or something. And then setting it out in exactly the same way. Okay. Notice that it's not indented underneath here. I've pressed backspace to go back. So this is going to look almost exactly the same as the one beneath it. So Again, health, and I give my wizard a health. Well, I'm giving him a little bit lower health. Strength, maybe a little bit less strength there. Defense, a little bit less as well. But then obviously, because they're a wizard, I give them a lot more magic. Okay, now what I want you to do, I want you to pause the video now, and I want you to come up with one of your own. Okay, make sure they have health, strength, defense, and magic. And um, later on, I'll show you how to add other attributes, which two different things. So pause the video now and make your own one. So I've just made my own quick one here as well, and we're gonna just need to make sure a little bit later on that whatever you've called your other class here, um, in one of the other videos when we go to select them, we just need to make sure you use that name that you've given them, but we'll talk about that in more detail in a bit. So I'm just gonna use my hashtags to show ooh, what it is I'm doing. So here are my uh, hero classes. And now that I've done the heroes, and like I say, you can make as many different ones as you want. If you want them to pick from 10 different classes, you can do. Okay, you extend this as long as you want it to be. But you might find it better to put more enemies in. So I'm going to look at these now. Uh, enemy classes, that's it. <laughs> so the enemy classes are set out exactly the same. There's only um, a couple of differences in the attributes that these classes have. So the next part that's to look at is the enemy classes. So once you've done all of the hero classes, you can do exactly the same now for the enemies. So you just need to write the word class. And we're going to start with a goblin or something like that. And then object. And then you can start writing the attributes um, exactly as you had done above. Now, the only thing different with the enemy classes is we need to give them a name attribute as well. And in this attribute, all you're going to do is in speech marks, you're going to write what their name is. So, pretty straightforward stuff there. Now, the reason we're putting in speech marks is because that's going to make that a string, which is um, Python's um, kind of way of dealing with text. So, we're going to use that text 
and we're going to actually display that text um, uh, in the game. So we'll show you that in, in more detail in a second. So the next one is going to be giving them a health. So whichever, how much you want, don't give them a massively big health because it'll take you ages to defeat them. A strength as well, um, which again should be fairly low because you need to be able, you don't want them to be able to attack you and just get rid of your character immediately. A defense as well, low defense, so they don't take too much before they uh, before they go down. And the last thing they need is a loot. Um, so this is, I'll just type it and I'll explain it. So the loot attribute we've got here is actually looking at this random that we put in at the top. What it's doing is that it's going to select a random integer. So an integer is Python's way of saying a number. So we've got random dot rand int. Rand int is the function to select a random number, a random whole number. And that random whole number needs to be between uh, needs to be zero, one, or two. So I can put any numbers I want in here. But basically, so zero and six will go between zero and six. But I want zero, one, or two because later on I'm going to program um, some loot that the enemy is going to drop. And there's only going to be three different items of loot. There's going to be loot item zero, loot item one, and loot item two. So depending on this thing here, which is completely random, sort of like a loot box type thing, um, it will select one of those random pieces of loot and they'll give them to our characters for them to use. So what I want you to do now is I want you to stop the video and I want you to program as many other enemies as you want. Try to go for three in total as a minimum. Make sure they all have the exact same attributes, but once again, they can have different um, uh, different names and different um, amounts of health and different strength and different defense. The only thing they cannot have different is this line. They all need to have the same loot and it all needs to do exactly this as well. So you can just copy and paste that line for each one of your um, loot attributes if you want. So stop the video now and then come up with three in total at least of your own enemies. You should all now be done with that. You should have at least three enemy classes. You should have at least three of the hero type classes. Um, what we're going to do now is you're going to make sure this runs. So you're going to run, run module. If you haven't saved this already, press OK. Make sure that when you save it, you save it with dot .py at the end, lowercase dot .py, or else it won't work. We're going to call it adventure dot .py. And we're going to save it. I'm going to put it on my desktop. I'm going to save that there. Okay. Nothing is going to happen, which is good. It means there's no errors in the code. And it means that we're now ready to move on to actually starting to program the game. Okay, so if you have done all of this and you um, are ready to move on, you can do so. If you want to make more hero classes and more enemy classes, you can do that as well. And I can show you how to actually make the game a little bit bigger in the next video.